are going to do now is we're going to show you how to do it the new way with the laser bomb. Down on the bottom is there's a beam that comes out of the bottom that we simply just put right on the, put that down beam on the intersecting point. Now Dan's going to take my speed square he's gonna, and he's going to stand it up and put it on the edge of the line right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down, make sure that my dot stays on the line there and I'm going to spin the laser until I split it halfway on that square. Now that I'm halfway on a square, now we're going to take the speed square and go to this side. And this line would normally be here, but we're going to take the speed square because we're going to slide this square until we split the beam, right? You see what happened? Somewhere along the line, we messed it up. So, like I mentioned before, we had six opportunities to make a mistake. Well, we found one of them. And somehow along and through the process, we made a mistake. And if we wouldn't have had this laser, we wouldn't have known and we would have built our walls. So the great thing about using a laser like this is you can count on the beams being square all the time. So what we did now is because we transferred that mark down now, we're going to resnap our line to there. So now the next application that we'll show you is now that we have the line snapped on the middle of the building, we can take the laser, transfer that layout that's on the ground up to the roof deck. So Dan's going to show you how to do that now. Dan's going to take the down beam on that laser and line it up with the chalk line. Now as soon as he gets it on there, that plumb guy is pointing to exactly where we need to go. So we climb up on the ladder and make a mark. So Dan and I have showed you how how we take and we make a reference mark and we do square. And then we've also showed you how we take that, that square line that we did and we plumbed it up. Well, different contractors work in a different way and that's why we've designed this laser with this shape here. This laser is designed to fit over a piece of bottom track. So I'm going to show you how that works. This is a piece of track. So what we would do with the track is we put it down on our line position it into place, and then we would fasten it down with a gun. Then, because of the shape of the laser, and there's magnets on the base of the laser, we can simply just put the laser up against the bottom of the track there, the magnets get in contact with the steel, and instantly the laser is lined up, and boom, there we have our layout. I told you that this laser does plumb level and square when doing layout on a small job site. Dan and I showed you how to do layout square, and then Dan and I showed you how to take that layout and transfer it up doing plumb. Now I'm going to show you how we can use this laser for level. We get this adapter base that also comes with the laser bomb right here. And all you do is I take the laser and it locks on. On this side right here you can see there's some brass bushings on there. Those are designed that if you took a screw gun and an inch and five eighths drywall screw, you could actually mount this to a wood column. But if you're on a job site like this, which is ideal for this laser, and you have steel on the job, we have magnets that are built into the base. All you have to do is simply pop the base onto a piece of steel, turn the laser on, and now I can use uh, horizontal beams on here to transfer around this room to give us a, a benchmark. So I rotate it to the front of the building, go up there, make a mark, and I'll rotate the laser around the room the next area here. I'm going to make a mark on the wall. Then I'm going to rotate it to the back of the room. Then go make a mark. Then I'm going to rotate it to the back other corner. Make a mark here. Then what I do is I connect all the dots by chalking some lines through this room. And what we've done is we've taken this compact laser here that fits in our pouch and it's taken the place of a rotating laser in a small room. The laser bomb 
is not only good for the carpenter contractor, but it's great for the mechanical contractor. With the plumb up beam, they're able to pinpoint the location of the threaded rod when they're hanging pipe. Also, if they take the laser, put the laser in the base backwards, the plumb up beam here lines up with the three legs on the bottom here, that when I flip the switch, they expand and self-center that plumb point in a pipe or a hole, ranging from two inches up to four and three quarters. So on the model here, I'm gonna show you how I can drop this laser into this three inch fitting, and it's gonna self-center that beam. Pop the base on top, flip the switch, turn the button on. Now that laser self-levels, it's giving me the plumb point of where the pipe's gonna penetrate the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah.